Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. You've probably heard of Einstein's famous equation, E equal to mc square, since you were a kid. But did you know that this equation isn't just about galaxies and the universe? It has a profound impact on your daily life, in ways you might never have imagined. Daily objects like flashlight, cell phone, pocket spring wound watch to even your TV remote control. When you use it, you're witnessing E equal to mc square in action. Let's start with this fascinating question. If we have two identical pocket spring wound watches, one fully wound and running, and the other completely stopped, do you think their masses are the same? Let's dive into this intriguing concept. Here we have two identical watches. At first glance, they look the same. But before we jump into the science, I want you to think for a moment, are they actually identical in mass? The answer is no. The mass of the two watches is not identical. The fully wound watch has a greater mass than the stopped one. But why? Let's explore some physics concepts. Before we continue, we have an announcement. Club Academia is teaming up with Wealth Talk to help our club members to gain knowledge on the world of stocks, investing, and money management. Click the link below to start building wealth. Let's get back to our identical pocket spring wound watches. First, let's introduce Einstein's famous equation, E equal to mc square. This equation tells us that energy E is equal to mass m times the speed of light c squared. What does this mean for our watches? When the watch is wound up and running, it possesses energy in multiple forms, kinetic energy, potential energy, and even thermal energy. Let's break these down. Kinetic energy, this is the energy of motion. As the gears of the watch turn, they create kinetic energy. The faster they move, the more kinetic energy they have. Potential energy, the spring inside the watch is storing potential energy. When the spring is wound, it holds energy that can do work as it unwinds. Thermal energy, as the gears move and friction occurs, heat is generated. This thermal energy is also a form of energy, even if we don't always think of it in the context of our watches. Now, according to E equal to mc square, energy has mass. When our running watch is fully wound, it has kinetic and potential energy in addition to the thermal energy produced by friction. All this energy contributes to its overall mass. In contrast, the stopped watch has none of that kinetic energy, its gears are at rest, and its spring is not under tension. Therefore, it lacks the extra energy that contributes to mass. So, the running watch is not just alive with movement, it actually has more mass because of the energy it carries. Let's put this into perspective. If we were to measure the mass of the running watch, we would find it slightly heavier than the stopped one. The energy it possesses translates into increase in mass. This principle of energy and mass relationship can lead us to some mind-bending conclusions. So, the next time you look at a watch, think about the energy it contains and how that energy actually contributes to its mass. What other objects do you think might have this hidden mass due to energy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you have two identical flashlights with fully charged batteries, and you turn on one of them, does its mass change? Spoiler alert, it does. Let's find out why. Here I have two identical flashlights. Both have fully charged batteries and they're ready to shine. But what happens when we turn one of them on? Well, that flashlight starts to convert chemical energy from the batteries into light energy. And this process actually results in a loss of mass. Let's break it down. When the flashlight is turned on, the chemical energy stored in the battery is converted into electrical energy, which then powers the bulb to produce light. This conversion process is not just about energy, it also involves mass. According to Einstein's famous equation, E equal to mc square, Energy and mass are interchangeable. This means that as energy is released in the form of light, a tiny amount of mass is also lost. So, when the flashlight emits light, it's actually shedding a small amount of mass along with that energy. Think about it, every time we use batteries, whether in toys, remote controls, or our flashlights, we're not just using energy, we're also experiencing a minute change in mass. It's a neat reminder of the interconnectedness of energy and mass in our universe. So, the next time you flick on a flashlight, remember, you're not just illuminating the room, you're also engaging in a fascinating dance of energy and mass. Next, let's look at a common household item, the TV remote control. 
When you use a remote, it doesn't just send signals, it also emits thermal energy and infrared light. As the batteries power the remote, they also lose energy over time. Similar to the flashlight, as the remote control emits thermal energy and infrared light, its mass decreases as well. This is because the energy stored in the batteries gets converted into usable energy, and thus, the total mass of the remote diminishes with each use. Over time, as the batteries deplete, the chemical energy is converted, and the remote's mass is slightly less than when it was fully charged. It's a small change, but it perfectly illustrates how energy conversion affects mass. Everyday items like flashlights and TV remotes, Einstein's equation, E equal to mc square, profoundly impacts our understanding of mass and energy. It reminds us that energy is not just a concept, it has tangible effects in our daily lives. If you enjoyed this dive into atomic physics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more science explorations on Club Academia. Until next time, keep questioning and exploring the amazing world of science.